Hello and welcome to the Modern Fly Fisher YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the new Headwater Pro Boot from Sims and we're going to put cleats on it. I get this question in the shop all the time. How do I get the cleats onto these boots? Um, how do I lay them out? How many cleats do I need? Well, we're going to go over all of that right now. These boots are designed to hold a total of 15 cleats per boot. Most of the time, I run two packs of cleats for two boots. There are 10 cleats in each boot that makes in each pack, making a total of 10 cleats per boot. If you wanted to, to add another pack, you could have that full coverage of 15 cleats per boot, and that's always an option. I'm using two different kinds of cleats, and they both serve two different purposes. This is the hard bite cleat here. And this is the Alumabite cleat. Let me show them to you. This is what they look like. You'll notice the difference. The Alumabite cleat is obviously made out of aluminum, and the hard bite cleat is made out of steel. And it actually has welded onto it this material that um, actually helps grip even more. So if you're walking in, say, like limestone or uh, softer, stickier, slipperier types of rock, this cleat will work very well to, to grab into that softer material. On the other hand, we have the Alumabite cleat. And the Alumabite cleat is made out of aluminum, and we all know aluminum is a softer material. And this is designed to grip extremely hard surfaces like granite and other very hard types of rock where it'll actually grab onto it because this material, it sticks into this material a little bit. Um, so these cleats will wear out, all of all cleats wear out. And the great thing about the SIM system is that you can remove and replace cleats once they have worn out. The other thing that is convenient is if you know you're gonna be walking in a certain type of stream, you can tailor your cleat choice according to that. Um, for me, I generally go for like a 50-50. I do about four or five of the aluminum on each boot, and I do four or five of the, um, four to six of the hard bite on each boot. And that way I have my bases covered. They both work well. And if I were to buy another pack, um, I'd probably uh, buy the Alumabite because it's a little bit more universal. And it's also uh, $10 less expensive. Let's get into the insulation, and I'll show you how to do that right now. The tools that you're going to need for that are a drill or an impact driver. Even a screwdriver will work fine. Today we're going to be using this, this um, impact driver. And all the hard bite cleats come with screws included. And you'll notice that they're flat here. They're not pointy. And that is just to make sure that they don't poke up and into the sole of the boot. These boots have already been designed with a layout. So you can just put these screws and they go into that pre-designated hole. Let me show you how that works. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you are installing these cleats is actually lay out the boot with the cleats. And you can actually stick the cleat right onto the boot and it'll stay there because the rubber grips it on either side. So I'm going to go like every other. Something like this. Once you have the cleats laid out on your boot, you can go ahead and start screwing them in.
It's important not to over tighten and strip out the rubber sole. But it's pretty forgiving because they use a very aggressive screw thread on here. Well, there you have it. The Sims Headwater Pro boot with studs installed, 10 studs here installed. It's a great boot. I'm going to be doing some testing on it. I'll put a link to that video in uh, the description and at the end of the video you'll see that. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like it, please thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, fish more, catch more.